Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you might tell from the title of this video and from what I'm wearing, I am in Iran. And I am actually on my way to Shiraz right now. So, my cousin is driving me and my auntie there. We're all going together. And we're about 80 kilometers away from Perth Polis. So, we are going there. And then from there, we're going to um, Shiraz, and it's about an hour drive from Perth Polis into Shiraz. Um, so, yeah, we are currently in, I think, Pastora. I'm not really sure. So, yeah, I just thought I would show you guys. I'm going to vlog everything. I'm really excited. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. So, here we actually just parked the car and we were walking around, and it was just so random. There's like a a horse and a camel like in just like the middle of the like side of the street it was so random but um in pastor on here the the tomb of cyrus is here so um that's what we're going to do we're going to go see his tomb so here we were just walking up to um the place where you can buy a ticket to go see the tomb of cyrus and there's just all these shops around here and they all sell souvenirs and stuff and like they're really heavy souvenirs and I did purchase one I purchased the head of Darius I think but I didn't purchase it from here I purchased it from um, Persepolis so Takhta Jamshid and yeah like every site that we went to they had like souvenir shops like this and you could buy magnets and you could just buy like heaps of stuff related to ancient Persia, ancient Iran. So all the places that we're like visiting before we actually reach Persepolis, such as this place, they're all kind of related to Persepolis. Cyrus, he was a very significant person and um, later on I'm going to visit Darius's tomb. They're very significant, important people, part of Persian history. So they're all kind of related to Takhta Jamshid as well. So this is it. This is uh, the tomb of Cyrus, and we uh, we just uh, passed through the entrance, and we are just walking up to the tomb right now. Um, it's pretty empty. Honestly, there's not really much to it here. <laughs> it's just a tomb. We'll go around and see what it says. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but. So Cyrus the Great was here. Never seen Jamalus Cyrus. So we just finished looking at the tomb of Cyrus the Great, and now we're just gonna head back to the car and head back to the car and then head to Perth Polis. There was quite a few tourists here, but not a lot. I saw more tourists in Tehran and in Esfahan than I did at this site. So, but yeah, there was still tourists here, yeah, but not a lot. There was like two or three. And there's bees everywhere. And I don't like bees. So we've made actually another stop on our way to Perspolis. And it's Nakhche. I forgot the name already. But um, this one has... Um, the tomb of Darius and um, it's actually really big so I'll show you guys the time let you guys know so it's actually 10 past 3 and we left the other place at about I can't remember maybe like quarter past 2 10 past 2 so it took us an hour to get here and Persepolis is about 10-15 minutes away so I'll show you guys around here and So 
this belongs to who. So let's go see. This first one, I'm pretty sure it's Quadorius. So yeah, this is the tomb of Darius the Great. If you guys can read this, so one side has it in English and the other side has it in Farsi. So this one is Shopur. I don't even know how to say that, but yeah, yeah I'm not even going to bother trying to say that name because that will probably butcher it, but hopefully you guys can read it so you can tell. And this one is Tomb of Darius the Second. This is the tower known as the Kaaba of Zoroaster. So, there's more stuff down here. I don't even know about. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's just pale stone. The water basin. The Bahram and his carriers cut over an Elamite rock relief. Hmm. Interesting. There's one more over here. And this one is a investiture of Ardashia. So much to read, I really can't be bothered. <laughs> so, finally made it to Persepolis after two stops and leaving the house. Um, I just tripped. <laughs> So after two stops and leaving the house at 9am, we finally made it. It's now 4 o'clock, so perfect time I reckon because it's actually been really um, hot so we won't die too much. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys around and hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I hopefully will enjoy it. already see some of the figures like over there it's so funny how it's so green 
on one side and then it's gonna be all dusty and dirt on the other. So we just made it past the ticketing station. So after you pay for your ticket there, this is what it looks like. There's a bank here, bookshop, some hats. Although I don't really know what use a hat is to the ladies here if they have to wear a headscarf on their head. Kind of pointless if you ask me. Fast food, coffee shop. And each of these places that we actually stop, they all have souvenir shops too, which is pretty cool, I reckon. So, upon entry to the area, see, so, upon entry, there's like these stones here. There's an inscription on them, so this one just says that it's a um, new United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. I think it's part of the World Heritage um, Committee, so it's in World Heritage Day, so it means it cannot be destroyed. Um, and then it's just got like a description about Persepolis um, and all that stuff. And there's a map here as well that tells you where everything is and what everything is. <laughs> the tourist survey, double sided stairs, description of what it is really. I don't know what happened to the recording, but um, I'm just saying that there's a, the actual stairs are on the side and they put wood on top of it to preserve it. Again, the audio in this section is really bad, so I don't know what happened to it, but these stairs were such a pain to go up on. Like, they at least they weren't too far apart, but they were just really wide. And excuse my panting throughout this video, I was really short out of breath. And I had the issues with my nose as well, so it didn't really help. But uh, yeah. I'm just walking around and they've got like wire around everything or glass around everything so it's not like you can actually go in the middle of them and take photos you have to actually like stand a distance the unfinished gate <laughs> Yeah, you have to stand a distance to take photos which is kind of annoying but it's understandable because you know they want to preserve everything and they want to make sure that nothing gets ruined see from here I reckon it'd be really nice to go up there and take a photo because then everything will like fall in the background and it'd be really nice but the only thing about going up there is that I'm wearing sandals and it looks pretty steep and there's the people are struggling to walk up there so why would you do that to yourself I'm not even gonna bother risking it
Battle of Champion King and Mythical Creatures. Oh, it's here. But the sun is in the so way. There's a hole. Like why? So, these um, sketches here, they all tell a story, and the guide is telling the tourists. <laughs> You can see sheep here, yeah. horses, there was a camel over there, it's right there. They all tell a story. Oh, we really want to go and stand over there. But they have bars here, so I can't leave. Otherwise, it would have been really cool if I could go and stand in the middle of all these pillars and take a photo. After this is the end of our trip. And then we're going to drive down to Shiraz and stay there for a day. Explore the city tomorrow. I'll keep you guys updated on what my plans are, but this concludes Persepolis.